एचसी वर्मा चैप्टर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन A motorcycle has to move with a constant speed on an over bridge which is in the form of a circular arc of radius r and has total length l. Suppose the motorcycle starts from the highest point. A what can its maximum velocity be for which the contact with the road is not broken at the highest point? B if the motorcycle goes at a speed of 1 by root 2 times the maximum found in part A where will it lose the contact with the road? C what maximum uniform speed can it maintain on the bridge if it does not lose contact anywhere on the bridge let the maximum speed of the bike be v not let us draw the free body diagram of the bike gravitational force of mg acts in vertically downward direction centrifugal force of magnitude mv not square by r acts in vertically upward direction v not is the maximum velocity for which the contact is not broken This means if speed is even slightly greater than v not the contact will be broken or the centrifugal force will become greater than the gravitational force this implies that at speed v not the gravitational force just balances the centrifugal force or mv not square by r is equal to mg simplifying we get v not square is equal to rg or v not is equal to root under rg this is answer to part a of the question For part B of the question, let us assume that the bike loses contact with the bridge at the point which makes angle phi with the vertical. If we draw the free body diagram of the bike at this point, gravitational force of mg acts in vertically downward direction and centrifugal force of mv square by r acts in radially outward direction. Since the bike is just about to lose contact with the bridge, normal is zero. Also, the centrifugal force is balanced by the component of the gravity along the radius. From simple geometry we know that the gravitational force makes angle phi with the line joining this point to the center. Therefore the component of gravity towards the center is mg cos phi. Thus mv square by r is equal to mg cos phi or v square is equal to rg cos phi. Putting the value of v as v not by root 2 that is root under rg by 2 we get rg by 2 is equal to rg cos phi or cos phi is equal to 1 by 2. This implies phi is equal to pi by 3. The distance of this point from the highest point is r into phi or pi r by 3. This is answer to part b of the question. Since the speed of the bike is uniform, the centrifugal force acting on the bike is constant. For the bike to remain in contact with the road, the centrifugal force must be balanced by the component of gravity towards the center. If the centrifugal force is less than or equal to the minimum value of the component of gravity towards the center, then the bike will not lose contact anywhere on the bridge. As you can see the component of gravity towards the center reduces as the bike moves towards the ends of the bridge therefore this component is minimum at the end points if theta is the angle the end points make with the vertical then the minimum value of component of gravity towards the center is mg cos theta this value must be equal to the centrifugal force therefore if v1 is the maximum value of speed for which the bike does not lose contact anywhere on the bridge then mv1 square by r must be equal to mg cos theta which implies v1 square is equal to rg cos theta or v1 is equal to root under rg cos theta since the angle is given by arc length divided by radius theta is l by 2r and hence v1 is equal to root under rg cos l by 2r this is answer to the third part of the question in order to request solution to any question from achiever ma book post the question number and chapter number in comments below like and share the video to help other students find us subscribe the channel like our facebook page and follow us on twitter for latest updates thank you for watching